Let's play. Let's continue, shall we? Yes, let's ask that. Mercury? Sure. I'll just get it. It feels a bit sacrilegious just spreading it out to show you. It doesn't really answer questions, it more asks them. Do you want it to ask you a question, Sam? Sure. Hmm. It wants to know if you're happy being the person you are now. Uh, not really. Hmm. Mercury agrees with you. It's nice that you're being honest with me and with yourself. Behind me. Okay, then. The body, the fuck out of Dodge before you get caught up in it was raging in me, but here I... It's six o'clock and you're listening to Radio August. Police investigating the murder of Dorota Shaw are appealing to the community to help catch her killer. The body of 21-year-old Miss Shaw, an accomplished cellist, was found in her home last night. Police are describing the murder as a violent and despicable act. Monroe. It's just terrible. Meanwhile, out of respect for the victim and her family, this weekend's Tulip Festival has been postponed. New dates will be announced shortly, so do stay tuned to Radio August for updates. I heard Dorota Shaw was due to play this weekend. At the Tulip Festival? Indeed. I understand why they'd want to postpone it. Tonight the weather will be mostly dry and warm, but be on the lookout for dark clouds on the horizon, as there may be scattered showers. Best take an umbrella, Monroe, so you don't get wet. I like getting wet. That's six <laughs> o'clock with Poe and Monroe. Any more news on Oscar Wainwright? I think I already know who's on his suspect list, but let's ask him. Just the tarot readers. No one else is remotely suspicious compared to them. I did, Violet. Got any reason for saying that? I'll look into it. Rain says he was praying in his room, alone. Nobody corroborates. Bronwyn and Lexi say they were in the same room last night. Shame they can't agree which one. The tarot readers mentioned Birmingham. You're looking into it. There's some talk about a traveller. Whatever that is. Dorota's boyfriend Oscar is in the clear as far as I'm concerned, but I'm still waiting to hear what he tells you. Violet says she doesn't remember last night, but I've got that in hand. That's it. Hang okay. on. Let's I'm going to call Oscar. for help. Who are you? I'm a, I'm a shape-shifting detective, obviously. I'm Sam. The Shaw's hired me to investigate the murder. Right, because the local police are so rubbish. It's been a day, a whole day. It's typical of them. It takes more than 24 hours to figure out this stuff, you know. But did you see her yesterday? That is the question. Yeah, I went round there in the afternoon. Uh, her parents were at work, and we were, you know, hanging out. I left at about five. Where were you at 9pm last night? Playing football. It was just five aside. Uh, finished at about half nine. I called her, but she never picked up. What can you tell me about her parents? Not much. They always seemed happy to see me. I don't think they meant it. They wanted Dorota to focus on her music. And how long were you with her? Not long, a couple of months maybe. We did care for each other. Was she seeing anyone else? No, why? Just asking. <laughs> I can't say that. Chief DuPont said there was no signs of anything like that. Well, it could be possible. 
of a hiding spot or something. What, you mean watching us? That's disturbing. No, no, it couldn't have been. The only place you could have hidden would be in the closet. And I suppose someone could have hidden in the closet. Must be a big closet. Have you hidden in there before? Yeah, sure, why not? Let's ask that. Not hidden. Well, she, she liked it. Liked me to watch. Not, not other guys. Just, she had these, you know, voyeur fantasies. I think I know where this is going, but I'm gonna ask him to describe it because... <laughs> fuck it, why not? She'd ask me to hide in the upstairs closet. And then she'd walk in, strip off, start touching herself. She got upset if I came out before she'd finished. I'm sorry, is this helping with the investigation? Not particularly, but... Yeah, anyway. <laughs> what else was in the closet? Clothes, mainly. I did see something that freaked me out a bit. She had a wedding dress in there. She knew I'd seen it, but we never talked about it. Not even as a joke. Okay. Here, the metal frame thunked the ground, or the glass shards that splintered from the screen, because at that moment, that very moment, she's with... She flaunts herself. Her body. Her boudoir photographs taken. Who do you think those photos were for, Sam? Her mother? I would hope not. But who were they for? Ask Zach Weston. He took them. <laughs> the vicar's son? No, no, as far as I can tell, Oscar is a good boy. But we've all got different faces now, haven't we, Sam? Masks we wear. I could be a satanic cultist behind closed doors, but you'd never know, would you, Sam? You're not acting any less suspicious, Violet. Tell me back, Zach. Zach's the local photographer. You should go and talk to him, Sam. You're good at talking. At Weston's photographic, off the high road. It's late, but he's always there. How would you know? I have a good memory. I'm still holding grudges from when I was four. You have a good memory, but you don't know what you were doing Monday night. Okay! ...to feast upon, and this demon was nothing if not patient. Yes, he came to see me. He wanted to know that she was okay, spiritually speaking. He confided in me quite a bit, actually. He seemed to appreciate having someone to talk to, and he knew I couldn't tell anyone what he said. Oh, Sam, you know I can't do that. Tarot reader client confidentiality. Okay, sure, whatever. Yeah, yeah, let's say this. Oh, she gets easily confused. Youth of today. Tell me the truth, Bronwyn. Bronwyn. Tell me the truth, Bronwyn. Fine. Jeeve Dupont was breathing down her neck, so we thought it would be simpler if we stuck together. If these walls weren't separating our rooms, then technically, it'd be true. To protect Lexi, none of this is her fault and she gets anxious easily. I was just trying to take the pressure off. I'm, I'm sorry, Sam, I, I never usually lie. Rain's a big boy, he can handle himself. Besides, I'd be highly suspicious if Rain claimed to be doing anything else other than reading on a Monday night. That's pretty much all he does every night. He told me he was praying, so... 
if he was doing something other than reading, and that's suspicious. Hmm, okay. I'll keep that in mind. She made her decision, and the resolve soothed the scratches in her throat. Right. Sam, what can I do for you? Right. How did you get Dorota's name from the tarot deck? We didn't. Lexi used a Ouija board to get the name. A Ouija board? It's Lexi's thing. I don't personally go near them, but in this case, it did help. No. Lexi needs to give it context from the tarot reading. A lot of the time it comes up with nothing. Or a sordid comment directed at Lexi. <laughs> I think that's why she keeps using it, to be honest. Okay, can you tell me more about it? Once we thought there was going to be a murder, Lexi used the Ouija board to find out the victim's name. It spelled out the rotor. Just... <laughs> this is going to sound weird. Um, most people believe Ouija boards contact the dead. So if Lexi contacts a dead person, that person needs to know what happens in the future. Ergo, maybe the person she's contacting is from the future. A time traveller who died here. Uh, what? Yes. Well, not just time travel, time and space travel is also possible. If we accept the fact there are multiple realities, we must also accept there are others like us who found a way to travel between these realities. Lexi mentioned you were here to do a job. We're trying to save people. I am not going to say that. Birmingham. We couldn't save anyone there either. The problem with travellers is... Let's put a pin in this one, Sam. No, let's not. I want to know. Birmingham, travellers, tell me now. Let me ask Bronwyn. If she says it's okay to talk about it, it's okay to talk about it. Okay, it paraded her Baldwin. face on posters, told okay. her Bronwyn. tragic story, painted the town Hi, red Sam. with her head. Hi, Sam. Back for more already. No, I think Bronwyn met him, though. You'd have to ask her, or him. It's not my place to say. I didn't. Yeah, you did. How did you find out? Am I in trouble? Bron was worried about me not having an alibi. She was locked in doing phone reading, so she's all right. But there's nothing to prove that I was here. I was, though. Cross my heart and hope to die. Oh, it's just your run-of-the-mill spirit communication device. Want to know how it works? Sure. Cool, okay. So, Ouija boards send us messages from the spirit world, right? But where is the spirit world? I mean, there's planets and stars and space. The spirit world must be really far away beyond all that. With so far to travel, messages from the spirit world must take ages to get here. Like how light from the sun takes eight minutes or something to reach us. You still with me? I'm hooked on every word. I'm not going to say yes, but I'm wishing I wasn't. Oh, you're sweet. Um, where was I? Oh, so here's my point. The spirit world is actually several hours ahead of us. That's how we get messages about things that haven't happened yet. That's how we got Dorota's name. Because in the spirit world, she was already dead. Wow! I know, mind-blowing. Traveller, that's a really old role-playing game, isn't it? Oh, did he now? Well then, you know what I know. I guess you must be a part of our inner circle. How does it feel? I'm just gonna go. Bye now. Endless waves eroding the people on shore until only the sand remains. The demon always it? spread like a virus. Your ability isn't endless. It will run out at some point. Oh, now you tell me.
Hi. I'm Bronwyn. I'm Bronwyn. Because there's a couple of people I need to talk to as Bronwyn. So let's do that. I love you, she said. Hey. You can tell Sam about Birmingham. Well, what can I tell Sam that you haven't already? You know Sam likes a fact check. I don't really know Sam. But if you're sure, then I guess I'm sure. What did you tell the police you were doing last night? I told them the truth, that I was in my room. I'm not sure if they can fact check it, but it's the only alibi I've got. I kind of wish we'd all stuck together now. When should we do another reading? Looks that way. Have you been feeling possessed lately? Why possessed? I won't ask that. Sorry. Too soon. I must set free. Dream. I'm truly sorry about Dorota. I didn't see you here last night. What are you implying? It's just suspicious. Nothing. Sorry. All this talk of the dead makes me very anxious. I'm truly sorry about Dorota. I didn't really know her. I saw her pictures in the newspaper. Can't remember what for right now. Seen, and they, I think they're, they're very ambitious. And there might be a little over. Oh, Bron, I'm so glad you're here. We need to talk. Is something wrong? No one can hear us, right? I mean, I'm assuming this room isn't bugged. Although, knowing Violet, there's probably cameras everywhere. You think Violet's a voyeur? <laughs> you know what? Fuck it, let's ask that. Probably. I don't know. She has that look about her, don't you think? Like she knows something she's not letting on. I wouldn't be surprised if there's cameras hidden in the wardrobe. What have you got to hide? Nothing. Though I'd rather she didn't see me dancing around in my underwear. I only do that for people I love. Do you love me? Do I want to ask that? I don't think I want to ask that. But I also do want to ask that. I'm going to ask that. Well, of course I do, Bron. See? And now that's on film. I hope you enjoyed that, Violet. Listen, we need to talk about our alibi. What about our alibi? What just happened? Okay, yeah, what about our alibi? I know you said it would be better if we said we were together, but lying about your alibi, that's pretty serious. Are you sure it was a good idea? We should do whatever it takes. You're acting like we've got something to hide. Bron, is there something you're not telling me? Why'd you ask me to lie? Were you really in your room all night? Yes. Then stop with the cloak and dagger stuff, all right? Oh, wait, 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 so wait, 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 um, wait. It makes me think she made her put everything back on the shelves. Is it Didn't I expect you to come back? Have you contacted Dorota? No. Uh, no, yeah, let's go with no, because I don't know if yes. I... Uh, no. I don't know. Yeah, let's go with no. Because I don't know... I don't know, uh, I don't know, because I... Yes. She forgives you. Yes. She says you know who killed her. See, I don't know if I want to say yes, and then... Yeah, either of these two options, because what if he then talks to the real Bonwin? No. Oh, so you've just come to see me. I'm sorry the police ignored our prediction. It's okay, just... How did you know? How did you come up with a name and then... She's gone? She's not gone. She's waiting to pass. How could someone even get into Dorota's bedroom? The usual way? The front door. Like, it's a townhouse and she's on the third floor. So, other than teleporting or a big ladder, that's the only way. Do you get on with Dorota's family? Not really. 
especially not now. I convinced I got her into the wrong crowd or something. Am I really a bad influence? Yes. <laughs> yes. No. no. Thanks, Bronwyn. I, I know it's a bit soon, but maybe we can grab coffee sometime? Whoa, back just, up! Just to chat about things. Back up? Your girlfriend only no, died thanks. the previous night? Slow the fuck down, dude. You're acting suspicious. Okay, no thanks. Well, if you change your mind, I'll be here. On my own. No, no you're not guilty for No, you're not guilty for me. Everyone is suspicious in this game. If it moved on, maybe escape was possible. But it just floated in the middle of the empty room, eerily silent. The vacant pet house. I know that Oscar was at a football game and there's witnesses and all that, but he could know who the murderer is. He could have hired the murderer. We just don't know. So again, everyone's suspicious until proven otherwise. Well, that's it for this video. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye!